very grateful to all the countries, the 70 countries who would have ratified by the end of MC 13. We have made substantial progress and we have been successfully able to use this ministerial as a hook for trying to get members to ratify. We are dealing with an opportunity to help improve the sustainability of our oceans. We're pleased to submit our instrument of acceptance of the fishery subsidies agreement during this MC13. This is a one-of-a-kind agreement that focuses on environmental sustainability, in particular, the ocean sustainability. Of course, this is very important for a small country like Brunei Darussalam, who is vulnerable to harmful activities of overcapacity and overfishing. We look forward to its early entry into force for a better and more sustainable future. Le Togo a décidé de, euh, de ratifier l'accord euh, de l'OMC sur la subvention à la pêche parce que c'est un accord important qui contribue à la protection euh, des environnements marins et des stocks de, de pêche. Cet accord est important parce qu'il prévoit des dispositions de renforcement des capacités euh, des États en voie de développement, notamment les PMA, pour euh, améliorer euh, leur secteur de la pêche. Fisheries Subsidies Agreement is a landmark achievement in WTO history. It is the first WTO agreement to address the aspects of sustainability. Over decades, excessive subsidies to large-scale fishery have led to depletion of fish stocks. Thanks to this agreement, WTO members took a substantive step to help sustainability of the marine resources. Malaysia is delighted to join other WTO members who have successfully ratified the Fisheries Subsidies Agreement, a global effort to discipline certain forms of subsidies to protect our fish stock. By ratifying the FSA, Malaysia and the membership demonstrate our commitment to global cooperation and responsible stewardship of our oceans. Therefore, I urge all remaining members to join us and accelerate their domestic ratification process and contribute to the preservation of marine biodiversity and the livelihoods of millions of people who depend on fishing. Our action and commitment today will ensure a better future for our children. We are a large fishing nation, but we are also a, a large ocean nation and we care about the health of the ocean. And we want the trade uh, in general to be well regulated, but also in line with the clear sustainability goals. We have to uh, deal with the ocean in a sustainable manner. So uh, for that reason, we have to work on uh, how we regulate the trade in fish and how we avoid the subsidies that are harmful in the sense that they promote overfishing or uh, even uh, illegal and unregulated fishing. We have successfully ratified the first WTO agreement on fisheries subsidies on the occasion of the 13th Ministerial Conference in this vibrant city of Abu Dhabi. This is a significant milestone in our continuing effort to show our country's commitment to address the global concern on illegal, unreported, and unregulated fishing and the conservation and sustainable use of our oceans. We fervently hope that the rest of the WTO membership will be inspired to com complete their own domestic ratification process for the agreement to enter into force as soon as time possible. Desde Uruguay estamos muy contentos de haber ratificado la fase 1 de este acuerdo de pesca. Invitamos al resto de los países a que también lo pueda hacer. Creemos que este paso no solo constituye un paso importante para unir el comercio y medio ambiente, sino también demostrar que esta organización puede alcanzar consensos. Invitamos también a los países que ratifiquen la fase 1 para poder contar con un acuerdo integral de pesca que constituya no solo un paso importante para esta organización, sino también para el medio ambiente. I'm also grateful to all those who have taken the opportunity to support the Fisheries Fund, which is designed to assist developing members to implement the disciplines in the Fisheries Subsidies Agreement Part 1. 